Good afternoon. It's great to see everyone and welcome to Corning's Harrodsburg facility. I'm Amy Porter, the plant manager, and it's our pleasure to have all of you here today for this great announcement. Uh, our facility has had a 65 year history of innovation and manufacturing right here in Kentucky, right? And what we're here to talk about today is how that great history will continue moving forward um, through the announcements we'll make today. Uh, we are thankful for our local officials, so thank you for joining us. We have Kim King, our state representative, is with us. In addition, we have three partners that have been very involved in the growth here in Kentucky for years, and we're honored to have them with us. Uh, we have lead, uh, majority leader, Mitch McConnell. Thank you. Apple's chief operating or chief operating officer, Jeff Williams. And as many of you know in this room, our very own Wendell Weeks, our chairman and CEO. So we with that, I will turn the floor over to Wendell. Wendell, the floor is yours. Good afternoon. Welcome to Corning's Harrodsburg plant and the Global Center of Excellence for Glass Technology Development. Uh, we're honored, as Amy has said, to be joined today by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Uh, Leader McConnell's been a longtime supporter of Corning and our employees. We appreciate his interest in the work we do here in Kentucky and his leadership in Washington on issues that directly affect our ability to grow and create jobs in the United States. And it is also my pleasure to welcome Jeff Williams, Chief Operating Officer of Apple. I'm sure that Jeff's reputation as an innovator precedes him. It will come as no surprise that he was just named one of the 20 most influential people in technology by Time Magazine. Corning and Apple have collaborated for more than a decade to launch new innovations, including Gorilla Glass, which helped transform the mobile device market. Today, we're excited to begin a new chapter in our partnership, a chapter that will not only enable next generation mobile consumer electronics, but also sustain and create high value manufacturing jobs. I will let our friend and collaborator share details on today's announcement, but I believe it's worth noting that one of the reasons Apple is such a successful innovator is because they recognize that product innovation depends on process innovation. And they understand that market leadership can be won or lost on the manufacturing floor. Corning is so proud to work with Apple to apply American ingenuity and manufacturing skills to continue solving some of the world's toughest technology challenges. Finally, I want to say just a few words about this very special place that we are all gathered. This facility is one of Corning's longest operating plants and it embodies several company hallmarks. A commitment to life-changing innovation, a track record of manufacturing excellence, and a history of evolution to meet the needs of a changing market. We're extremely proud that this plant is home to one of the most precise manufacturing operations of any kind, anywhere. But the plant's track record of success 
would not be possible without the extraordinary people and the culture of excellence that they represent here. We are truly blessed to have employees who are talented, flexible, and dedicated. We are also grateful to the city of Harrodsburg and the state of Kentucky for providing an environment that has allowed this facility to thrive for six and a half decades. Now, without further ado, please welcome Jeff Williams. Thanks, Wendell, and, and thank you, Leader McConnell, for the support. He's obviously got his hands full in Washington, so it speaks volumes about his love for Kentucky for him to be here. Uh, but most of all, I really wanted to thank Amy and the team here for everything you do. It's, uh, you know, it's, I, I toured the plant today, and the contagious enthusiasm from the people is palpable. And, and, I, and I mean that. I was telling Leader McConnell, it's, uh, it warms my heart that in the middle of beautiful horse country, the most advanced technology and glass in the world is happening right here. So it's really neat. Our history together uh, goes, goes back over a decade, and a few of you may know the story, but most people don't. Uh, the original iPhone that was designed was designed with hard-coated plastic on the front, which is how we made our iPods at the time that had the little screens. And when... <laughs> when, uh, when, when Steve uh, held up the the iPhone to introduce it to the world, uh, we'd only made a couple, and he was holding up one that we had designed with hard-coated plastic on the front. And uh, the intro went wonderful, and then he called the next day and said, everything's great except one problem. He said, I've been carrying this thing around, and it scratched in my pocket. I don't know if it was my keys or what it was, but it scratched, and he said, w w you know, I, we need, because it's got a big, beautiful screen on the whole thing, it's, that's what the iPhone's all about, we need, we need glass and I said you know we've been looking at that and I think within three to four years technology may evolve and we can do that on on the phone he goes no no no, you don't understand when it ships in June it needs to be glass and I and I said but we've tested all the current glass and when you drop it it breaks 100% of the time and he said I don't know how we're gonna do it but when it ships in June it's gonna be glass so uh, so I think he must have reached out to Wendell because about two days later, I get a call from Wendell who said, hey, your boss called and he said, my glass sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Wendell, Wendell said, I think I got an idea. We have, we have this technology that's been sitting on the R&D shelf. It doesn't, have a, it doesn't have a market, it doesn't have a home but maybe we could make a go at that. And uh, the teams scrambled, and uh, there, were, there were many months of sheer terror about whether this was gonna work, um, but uh, it was a bit of a Hail Mary, but when we launched in June, customers had an iPhone that had the beautiful feel of glass, corning glass, and was scratch resistant, Resistant, and I, 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 it, it helps set the tone for iPhone, and all of that work happened right here in Harrodsburg, and Apple owes you a big thank you for all of that work. So give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> you know, not only did that create Gorilla Glass, which was a market beyond Apple, but Today, every iPhone and iPad that a customer buys anywhere in the world, they touch glass developed right here in the United States. Um, now, last week, Apple announced a advanced manufacturing fund, and we committed to spend uh, at least a billion dollars uh, investing in new technologies, advanced manufacturing in the United States to not only help us innovate, but to help bring uh, 
higher skilled, higher paying jobs to the United States. And so it's only fitting that the first commitment from that fund be for Corning and specifically for Harrodsburg, where so much of our history is. And so we're, we're announcing today that we're committing $200 million for capital and R&D to support continued work here on advanced glass technologies. Uh, Corning's been such an integral part of our past that it, it's, it's really only appropriate that the future uh, is a future we should share together. So, so with that, I'll, I'll switch to uh, Leader McConnell from an introduction standpoint. This is a hometown crowd, so there's nothing I could say about Leader McConnell that you don't already know, uh, other than it's a real honor to have you here. So welcome, Leader McConnell. <clears throat> well, thank you, Jeff. And Wendell, good to see you again. You know, like uh, millions of people around the world, the uh, last thing I look at at night and the first thing I look at in the morning is my iPhone. Unlike millions of people around the world, I think of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> and this amazing Gorilla Glass that you guys make here. Jeff was telling me that there are uh, parts in this iPhone from 30 different countries, but the part that we all touch multiple times a day is this amazing scratch-proof Gorilla Glass. Now, I knew that before today. I was here in 2013, and um, I just wanted to come by, having had nothing to do with this announcement myself, <laughs> and just tell you how proud I am of what you do here. Uh, we are going to try, through comprehensive tax reform, to make both of these corporations uh, in a better position to compete uh, with other companies and other countries around the world that have continued to lower their tax rates in a desire to try to get our businesses to go offshore. So there are ways in which we can help both Apple and Corning be even more competitive than you guys have made them already with this amazing glass. So I came by to salute all of you, to thank you for what you're doing, and to say how really glad I am that this is in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Thanks so much. Thank you, Leader McConnell, for being part of today's event and also just for being such a constant and strong champion for U.S. manufacturing. And we're also grateful to Jeff for his investment in the future, not only his financial commitment, but also his vision, his passion, which you got a sense of today, and his deep engagement with the tough work of turning big ideas into new capabilities. Corning could not ask for a better collaborator, and we look forward to what we'll create together. Finally, thanks again to all the great folks that work here at the plant. You are the real enablers of our inventions. We could have deployed this technology in any number of locations worldwide, but we chose Harrodsburg because of the legacy of this plant and the talent of our people. On that note, I want to acknowledge a very special anniversary. Janice Burge is celebrating 53 years of active service on Monday.
Now, if we're blessed with folks that are as talented as Janice to be on mission with us to do great things for 53 years, it doesn't get better than that. It's hard to think of everything that you've seen and helped us with over 53 years. So proud of you. One more round of applause for you. So that concludes today's program. We hope you're as excited about the impact of today's announcement on this community as we are and that you're looking forward to, just like we are, the next round of fabulous innovations that come out of this great group of people. Thank you all for coming.